Welcome to the video. It's getting cold. Whew. Got the jacket on here. It's an old jacket I've got laying around. Um, so the question is, during Rider, would you date a black woman? You know, why are you all your girlfriends with a certain? Well, you don't know everyone I've ever had in my life, so it's easy to say that. But I'd, I'd have no issues uh, having a black girlfriend or African or Kenyan or Asian or whatever. For me, it's all about the personality, right? Now, recently on Instagram, some stuff went up. People were accusing me of being a racist or whatever. And it's like, man, people hate my message of carbohydrates or live your own life or whatever. They hate it so much that anything I do, anything I do, they'll do their best to try and discredit me. Or take me out of context, say, Harley, you're a racist, you're a rapist, or whatever. You can find proof from Six Inch Tripod. If you can find proof of any of those two things, that I'm a rapist or a racist or whatever, people, the haters like to say, spread around you know if you can provide any proof of any of those two things to be true i'll give you ten thousand dollars cash all right like let's do it <laughs> let's do it but what happens is people take things out of context etc so i understand that that's just that's just the game all right that's just the game of social media that's the game of life if someone hates you anything you do will be twisted out of context, exaggerated, and then, poof, and then spread as fact or rumor or whatever. And the other people who hate you go, yeah, yeah, it's true, I don't like that, do not want to suck, don't I get it, you know, I live an incredible life, you know, like, I live my dream every single day, and you're not gonna live your dream without getting mad, jealous people around you or whatever. That's gonna, they're gonna, they're gonna, people, some people don't wanna see you like, finished, literally. And, and that's the reality. Like people think, oh, if I had more money, if I had the fame during what I had, if you had the freedom during what I had, I could travel the world and be fit, and then I'd be happy. It's like, no, you wouldn't, because you have the problems that I have, and they would crush you, man. They would crush you. They don't crush me, because I've grown slowly, and it's happened slowly over time, so I've, my skin's become quite thick and armored, so it doesn't get to me like someone who, who wins the lottery or gets viral fame in a few months on social media, but they don't, they don't emotionally muscle grow enough to deal with the, the jealousy or the haters or the trolls or whatever. My trolls are like next level, you know? And, and that's great because that makes me a better human, makes me a stronger man. So the women in my life sense that and they're like, wow, I'm not with this beta boy who crumbles at the first sign of a hater, disables comments, blocks people, oh, I'm freaking out, da, 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 da. you know, like I don't care at all. I don't care at all. I will play the game back because controversy sells and it's clicks. I, I get it. You know, I love that. Um, what I don't like, though, what I will delete is when people start to uh, attack. You know, my the keyboard attack my followers, or whatever. So now maybe I'll delete them or block them because they're just like you know creating a false narrative or whatever. But end of the day, I don't really care. You know, but I do like to have a. A safe environment for people to comment about feeling that because I understand that you know I never used to filter contents uh, comments ever because I, I don't care I don't care you know but I just realized that was a bad thing because then you'd have all these comments in the section that were like you know from the trolls and then the, the good people the real fans wouldn't be able to comment or feel safe because they're like just comment like hey doing what I love the video oh yeah 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 and they'd be getting all you know, cyber bullied and that so if you do have um, downer comments, jealous people on your feed, it's important to get rid of them because those people start attacking your legit fans. Right? That's a big social media tip. One that took me many, probably 10 years to learn. 10 years to learn. Only probably last year I started deleting and moderating comments because it was affecting the, the user experience. You know, the, the people I'm trying to help, I'm trying to help the trolls. You know? I'm not trying to, the trolls will troll anyone. They'll troll you, they'll troll me, they'll, just because they're not happy in their own life. And they feel mad jealous. Don't be jealous in life. Be inspired to take action. Right? Simple as that. So yeah, as for those terms of being a racist or whatever, it's like, oh my god, like, just yeah, yeah. I don't believe in races, other than there's the human race, right? And so whatever, you know, color you are or whatever, you know, whatever you are, you have pros and cons. Right? That's just how it is. You got to deal with the cards you've been dealt with you gotta live with them you know i live in i've got an australian passport so if i want to set up a business in germany that's probably not going to happen well it's going to be a lot of you know red tape and jumping around am i going to sit there crying about it i can't be a big bicycle brand in germany because what like 
that's what people do though. They protest in the streets, and you know, like, nah, 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 nah. it's like, I ain't protesting on those streets for that. I'm making shit happen in my life, getting it done, right? <laughs> like, I did a post the other day about Kobe Bryant, just, ha you know, poking a bit of fun. People are like, oh, you know, like, I've got no chance as an athlete because of my color. And I'm like, yeah, yeah. T tell Kobe Bryant that. Tell Michael Johnson. Tell Shaquille O'Neal. Tell whoever. Tell Lance Armstrong. Tell everyone out there. Tell Kip J, you know, or Kasagi, all these people who are smashing it out there and not worrying about what color they are. And then you've got, the, you got two, peeps, two, two people in life, chumps and champs. Lance Armstrong was a champ. It, whatever the odds, mate, he's going to overcome them. Whatever the odds. Got cancer, got to die. Okay, I'm going to win the Tour de France seven times. <laughs> like, it's crazy. And then you've got chumps who are like, oh, I'm a single mom, don't have a dad, you know, it's the last half, you know, I'm in Texas, you know, there's no cycling culture here, you know, like, or Chris Froome, growing up in Kenya, it's no, I wanted to win the Tour de France, but, you know, like, so Chris Froome's a champ, got that champ mentality. Yeah. Michael Jordan, all these people, man, who overcame. These people walking in the streets protesting and stuff, that they're, they're chumps, man, really. 99% of them are chumps. Just looking for reasons to complain about stuff. And, you know, meanwhile, the biggest killer in the world is heart disease. <laughs> heart disease. Right? Heart disease is the biggest killer in the world. And KFC and all these companies, the, you know, the, 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 the dead animal fat intake endorsing, promoting, supplying, enabling companies are doing bank, doing bank. And here we are processing the street, creating more diversion and division amongst ourselves. It's just, it's nuts. It's crazy. It's cognitive dissonance. And people disagree with me and people unfollow and unsubscribe and dislike, whatever. Okay, cool. I'm just being me and I'm here to be real and for the people out there who want to be real. The people who want to be champs and not chumps. I used to be a chump. Blaming other people for, you know, can't do this, can't do that, you know? So like, what? <laughs> what? I mean, it's just, anything you do in life, you can look for excuses why you can't do it. My mum did this, my dad did this, I don't have this path, but I did it. Yeah, some people have just got more opportunity than others. Cool. That's just how it is, man. Deal with it. Roll with it. Some people are going to have to, you know, I, I know a guy, well, I don't know him personally, but I know of a person he lives in Thailand and someone put looks like they had battery acid on their face so their face has just been you know f full on and this person makes absolute bank every day all right like we're talking hundreds of dollars in living to, like they just you know I, I saw them they had a cup and they had a big bag and they just fill in that cup full of money every like half an hour an hour just poof, pull out a brand new iPhone like, uh, and they dress like they're like just doing it real tough you know and I was like wow playing it hard, you know? Winning, just winning. Now, would that person, maybe, would they trade all their money for, you know, different aesthetics? Maybe, I don't know. Maybe not, you know? So it's, you know, that, that was, that for me, at that moment, seeing that, I went from sort of feeling sorry for that person to going, wow, they're, 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 ma they're maxing it, man. They're maxing it. They've become that full champ mindset. Okay, this is the card I've been dealt. I can't change it. I can't change it. What I can change is how I'm going to go out my daily life. Simple as that. I can't change what people write about the internet. You know, I can throw back and, you know, banter and all that stuff, and that's fun and gives me clicks and hits and sales, but I can't change it, you know. I can't change that. I can't walk around. I can't go and change people's opinions that, who hate me, who want to hate me, no matter what I do. They're like, ah, oh, jealousy, you you got a hot girlfriend. you always got hot girlfriends. You're like super fit. you got freedom. you got money. you got, you know, whatever. Like, you can't change it. If someone wants to hate, they're going to hate you. you. Understand that. Why would you want to protest in the street and create change, which you're not, because it's never going to stop? You know, unfortunately, it's just how we are. It's just, just, it's just humans, man. It's humans. It's like me going, why would you, you know, like, it's like me, it's like me, uh, <laughs> it's like me going to play rugby, right? And they're like, no, mate, you're a cyclist, you're a runner, you're super fit, but you're, no, you can't play rugby, you're too skinny. I'm like, I'll show then. I'll start doing these stories like they do. And I'm going to track, man. I'm going to track. And I'll do all this stuff to damage my health or whatever, abusing stuff, gear, just because I want to prove a point. I can play rugby. Someone said I can't play rugby. I can play rugby. Like, what? 
It's like going to a country club. Oh, you, so you can't come to this country club. You got the, you got the wrong um, appearance. Sorry, and you're like, and so you then you were qualified to those people, PUA style, and then you qualify like, wow, I can come to this country club. I can buy this whole thing. And it's like, what? Why would you want to be accepted by people who don't want to accept you because they're so basic and shallow and eh? Why? Why would you want to fight against that? Wouldn't you want to just be who you are, be who you're born to be, and then people who like that, they can find you versus you change yourself so much just to get attention or approval or qualify to people who don't like you, whatever, to start with, and who never will because they don't even like themselves. Why try to chase approval from people who don't approve of themselves? Think about that. Why would you chase approval from your parents when your parents don't even approve of each other or themselves? You know what I mean? Like, how many, how many kids do I know over the years who have become lawyers or doctors or accountants or whatever because their parents were, and the parents haven't sort of hated that job, but they did it to impress their parents, and then their kids go, well, I want to be this, I want to be that, and I want to have this little bling to impress my parents. And it's just a cycle just continues. And meanwhile, they hate their job. They're depressed, they're doing coke, they're doing drugs, they're doing Xanax, they're doing prescription meds. Because they hate their life, man. Because they're living for the approval of people who don't even approve of themselves. All right, so why would you want to walk down the street, have a sign and protest? Dude, they're not going to approve you ever, okay? Even if it's the law or whatever, which it is, they're still not going to approve of you, okay? This is like, why try to chase approval from fuckwits? <laughs> I don't know, man. You're wasting your life. You know what I mean? You're wasting your life. Now, we've all been there. I've been there before. And, uh, never go there again because these people don't matter. They don't even matter to themselves. They're just basically empty shells walking around. If someone's going to judge you in your skin color, <laughs> negative or positive, why would you want to have that person in your life anyway? You know what I mean? Why would you want to? If someone's going to age shame you or whatever or race shame you or whatever you want to call it like why would you want why would you care you know i don't have opportunities as much why would you want to work in an industry that's so shallow you know I mean? oh i want to be a model but i'm not tall enough why the fuck would you want to be a model that industry is so shallow bro it's so shallow ballet cycling well, cycling is half half but you know a lot of these a lot of these sports or whatever that are based on aesthetics it's so shallow why would you want to get approval for that you know what I mean? why those, those people it's, those people are deranged okay yeah? it's, it's a warped industry the modeling industry or whatever you're trying to do or what it's just, you know like why why would you want to chase that you're just going to hurt yourself mentally and physically doing that anyway that's the rant and ramble people can call me a racist or a rapist or whatever they want to call me then yeah Go for it. Do it. Um, at least put some evidence up there so I can give you some money. Anyways, uh, what else can we say? This is the beautiful Mount Lofty Ranges here behind us. This is where fitness lives, Adelaide, Australia. It's quite cold tonight. It's probably about 9 degrees right now, 9 degrees Celsius. And this is the first week of winter here in Australia in the south. And uh, for a lot of you watching in Texas or Canada, it's the first of the summer. So enjoy that warmth for me. It's time to flip it around. You, get, you guys get the warmth. I get the cold fresh air and uh, that's the deal there so why chase approval from people who don't even approve of themselves when you live for their approval you will die by their rejection if someone rejects you by making fun of your color then that's on them don't worry about it man just drop it you know so if i'm walking down the street and someone says oh you're doing it all your girlfriends are like these 20 year old thoughts or whatever i'm like yeah bro, they're hot aren't they they're freaking hot yeah, I'm not going to get offended. Like, oh, is that your da is that your daughter? Oh, you, yeah, mate. Like, you know what I mean? Can you imagine? I'm like, yeah, very cool. Thanks for the compliment. Whatever. You know? <laughs> like, am I... Can you imagine? Oh, you just sort of little job. Like, YouTuber. Sort of little job, mate. You know? People do cat videos on YouTube. Sort of little job, mate. And I'm like, yeah, cool. Like, <laughs> go back to your nine to five you hate. Do that, bro. You know, like... Oh, man. The, the things people say to me, you know... And at the start, when, it, when you first hear it, you're like, oh, oh, oh. But then, I was, then you realize, oh, that's, that person says it again. Oh, someone else says it. Oh, yeah, okay, you guys are just jealous. 
you know, or whatever, or insecure, or just to have the empathy, all right? Have empathy for people out there. They're coming in off caffeine, they've got side effects from SSRI drugs, or their Adderalls or Ritalins or whatever, you know, the people abusing or fl flipping out on stuff, or their hormones are up and down, or it's, it's, you've got to have a thick skin in life and have empathy, all right? So, like, guys, if you've got a girlfriend and she likes sex, you ain't to give you a good G spot hit. And you haven't done it for a couple of days or whatever, and she starts to get all like antsy and starts to scream at you or get aggressive or whatever. You can go, oh yeah, stupid, get, get offended. Or be like, ah, and you know, that G hasn't been tickled for 48 hours or 24 hours or whatever. Let's, let's get back, let's get, just do what we hear to learn, you know, and then it's all good again. You know, like I was watching a video of a cat today, <laughs> this female cat on heat, and it was walking up to these male cats. Go Google it up, it's like female cat gets rejected by two cats, and uh, so this cat's on heat, she wants to romp it with some. Tomcats and these Tomcats should be smuzzling up to her and meowing and they'd like reject her and then when they rejected her she'd instantly like just claw them, you know. It happened multiple times. So that's just the deal, you know. Some people say it's to stimulate testosterone, but it just you know it opens up a whole thing. But the cats don't like take it personally, like, yeah, this is just how it is. But we live in a society where there's money to be made on profiteering of division and dramas and stuff like that. And I do a little bit with the drama stuff, you know, I love it. But, because it gets people in and then, you know, it gets people's attention. I don't like real drama, that's just pointless, but a little bit of clickbait drama is, is definitely healthy and good. It's prosperous. I've had over 300 million views on YouTube, all right? So, <laughs> living the dream. Anyway, but that doesn't matter too much either. Money, and views and fame and hot chicks or hot guys, whatever you're into, that stuff's all cool and fun, but eventually you've got to have raw substance in your heart. If you don't have that, you feel very empty. You'll be doing the drugs again and again and again, and you'll be like, spiraling down. So I think the best thing to do is serve other people by being yourself, you know, and finding what your gifts are and sharing those with the world, okay? And if you can monetize that and sell what you fucking believe in, then you'll be successful because you'll be happy. And happiness is success. And happiness is only experienced in the present moment. And happiness is best shared. All right? Success is wanting what you've got. Appreciating what you've got. Being grateful for what you've got. That's happiness. That's success. Depression and failure is wanting something else. Is not wanting what you've got. Not appreciating what you've got. Not having gratitude for what you've got now. Okay? Think about that. Anyway, that's the video. Post your comments and questions down below. Like it or dislike it. See you next video, which will be probably in a couple of hours.